Let's talk about Quantum Leap and Magic Williams. But more importantly, we're going to be talking about how Quantum Leap does LGBTQIA plus correctly. And there's a way to do it correctly. And there's a way to do it incorrectly. And we've argued in the past that the way to do it, the way to include LGBT and, and to bang that drum is to don't do it at the sake of the story, but do it instead as part of the story. And I got to tell you, we think that Quantum Leap is doing that this season. 100%, Brian. I think it's, it's well said. You know, there's been, there's been too much preaching, uh, too much, let me tell you what you're supposed to think. Tell me what you, how about you do what a TV show does and you just show us the way things are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. uh, during Ernie Hudson's interview here with Black Girl Nerds, uh, he talks about um, how Quantum Leap 2022 is bringing families together and has a multi-generational appeal. Um, he read a post, he was talking about this with them, where someone who's non-binary uh, said their parents love the show and that seeing Mason Alexander Park, who portrays Ian Wright, helped that that helped the parents of that person to see their child's experience differently. Mm. Um, the parents never really approved or understood of what the, their non-binary child was going through or understood it. But being able to look at that character without judgment has allowed them to view their child in a very different way. And it was, he's saying it was very, very powerful. Now, I would say that the fact that Ian is just a person doing a job and hanging out with people and having an experience in their life while being a non-binary person without telling us, you know, how you should feel about a non-binary person is the secret and key to the parents understanding this. It's like, okay, wait a second. You know, I, all I want for my children is for them to be happy and to feel like they're, uh, they're living in a world that they fit in and that they're comfortable living in. And what Ian's character is in, in Quantum Leap is doing just that. Ian isn't an outsider. Ian doesn't have uh, uh, strange situations that are that are that are messing with 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 them or making their lives more difficult. They're just living their life. They love their friends. They're having a good time and they're doing something important with their lives. And that's what these parents saw. And that's what every TV show should do. You shouldn't be afraid to you shouldn't be bringing in, uh, you know, LGBTQ IA character, you know, just because for the sake of doing it. Do it and treat them just like they're everybody else. And then people will say, wow, that's normal. Okay. You know, and we'll move on and we'll now, you know, and now families like this will be able to understand how it's possible that their concerns about their child may not need to be worried about because every show is showing you the difficulties, the trials, the tribulations of what that person is going through in that mm -hmm. show and why they're struggling and why it's hard and why nobody loves them and why it's terrible, right? And they're experiencing all these things and the parents are seeing, oh my God, this is what my kid's going to go through. I can't support this, right? But instead, Quantum Leap's just saying, hey, we're all having a beer over here, guys, and we're watching the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Cool, <laughs> you know? So that's how you do it. That's how you make a TV show where everybody's included. So. Right. Right. I agree. Yeah. Um, again, the, like the story, a lot of these shows that lean into it, it's almost like, it, is this show made for to tell this story or is it made to preach this message? You know, you watch Star Trek Discovery and you're like, is this show about trekking through the stars or is it about this particular group, um, and the and they're and they're wrapping it in Star Trek? And I gotta tell you, it it not only cheapens the experience or experiences of those groups, and cheapen the experience of the viewer that is learning about those groups, but it really cheapens the foundation of the show in which you're grouping them into. So all around, that method is only, can can only cheapen everything. The show, the characters, the groups uh, being represented, it can only cheapen it. 
And like, I, some people think that they're trying to help, but in reality, they're just hurting their own cause. And in the process, destroying the franchises that they've attached themselves to. Well said. Well said.